Welcome to tutorial 3 of 7. In this tutorial I will be demonstrating how to cut and paste and copy and paste using File Explorer. Starting with opening File Explorer, I will navigate to the documents by double clicking. And I have a document here called Sales Price Checker, which is a blank quotation for my customers. It's in the wrong place, so I want to move this document and put it into my quotes folder. I can do this in two ways. Using the right mouse button over the document brings me up what's called a context menu. This menu provides options of things that I can do with that file. I want to cut this document out and I want to paste it in my quotes folder. By clicking on cut with my left mouse button, this item turns grey, meaning it's ready for cutting and pasting. I'm going to double click on quotes with my left mouse button and then in this blank area here I'm going to right mouse click again, which gives me a menu for the things that I can do with this blank empty folder. And I want to paste the document that I've just cut. And that's moved. So it's gone from here and it's now in the quotes folder. Right click and cut. Right click and paste. There is another way to do this. A quick and easy way, if you can see the folder that you want to move into, holding down with your left mouse button, you can select the document and drag it, keeping your finger on the mouse button, and drop it over the folder that you want to lay it into. As you can see, it says there, move to quotes. So when I let go with my mouse, it will drop it into the quotes folder, like so. Double click on quote and I can see that my file's moved. It's not so easy to do that from here because you can't see the folder which is up level in documents. So it's quite easy if you want to pick a file up and drop it into a folder that you can see but not so easy when it's in a document that you can't. And that's where cut and paste, right click and cut, right click and paste becomes a bit more handy. Again, drag and drop and it's gone. So dragging and dropping creates the same action as a cut and a paste. It's just a quicker and easier way of doing it. Going into the quote section, I'm ready to create a quote. I've had someone ask me for a quote and I'd like to create a new document based on this template. I'm just going to open this document up and you can see here that this is a blank quote. There's no details for me. I don't want to save that. So I want to keep my blank sales document here ready for entering information into. So I want to create a copy of it. I can do this in two ways. The first way by having quotes open in File Explorer. Again using my right mouse button for a menu. And this time instead of cutting I'm going to copy. I want to duplicate that document and then in the blank area I'm going to press paste and it creates me a copy of that document. Now I'm going to rename the file. There are a number of ways to rename the file, but I'm going to keep consistency by right clicking and renaming. I'm going to type in here, delete the text. I'm going to, delete, I'm going to create a quote for our Middleton. Press enter. I'm going to open that document. And um, 
So I'm filling my quote and then I'm going to save the document. I can exit the document by closing it. And you will see I still have the two documents there. And I open the original and it's empty, blank, ready for copying and duplicating it at a later date. And you can see that the one I've just done separately still has the new customer information in. So that's an example of why we would copy and paste. The other way to create a duplicate of a file is by opening the blank document and instead of just saving it, which saves the current document, we would use Save As. I can choose the Quotes folder. Give the document a new title. This is for Mr. Frederick. And save the document. Then I can work on it. And then I can save it. I don't need to save as because I've already saved as and created the new document. I just need to press save. And then I'm going to close. And you'll see now. There's a H. Frederick document in there. Opening a document and using the Save As option can sometimes have its drawbacks. People often open the document, start editing the document, and then by accident they press Save instead of Save As, which will then overwrite their blank document. By right clicking and copying and pasting a document, you will prevent this from happening. That concludes session three.